now this is a very interesting question can a class implement interfaces with same method names now this question or this debate is very interesting uh, i know that you know this question has been discussed on a lot of forums people have blogged about it uh, people discuss now and then about this question this is one of those favorite question also during the interview okay so let's try to see practically you know what exactly uh, happens you know if we create if we try to create a class which implements interfaces with same method names now first let me try to make you understand you know what exactly this question means okay now let's say that you have a interface called as i1 which has a method called as method 1 you then have one more interface called as i2 which has again a method called as method 1 now this code is a pseudo code so don't expect that if you type on your uh, what you call on, on your visual studio it should compile but this is just a pseudo code to make you understand the scenario so <clears throat> we have two interfaces here i1 and i2 now let's say we create a class called as a which implements both i1 as well as i2 now both these method names in these interfaces are same that is method 1 and method 1 so now what will happen here right so what we'll do is in order to understand this we'll first uh, go to our visual studio we'll try to create two interfaces we'll try to implement them, them in the class and see what happens and then we'll try to answer this question in a better manner so here's a simple console application which i have created so let me go first and create a simple interface here i1 we we'll say i1 here which will have a method called as method 1 okay and in the same way i'll go and create one more interface here called as i2 which will have a method again called as method 1 right now let me go and create a class here called as class a okay which implements both i1 and i2 okay and uh, let me write some implementation here public void method 1 i'm just going to go to i'm just going to put here uh, console dot write line saying who has called me okay right so we have created a interface here two interfaces here with the same method name method 1 and method 1 and we are trying to implement both these interfaces and we have created we have we have we have gone ahead and we have implemented method 1 now the first question which will come to your mind is that will this code compile or not so let me go and hit the build here oh it's compiling so now if this compiles so what happens if i create a object of a and point towards i1 and what if i create a object of a and point towards i2 what will happen let's try to see that so let me say here i1 i1 obj is equal to new uh new a right and i'm going to say sorry i1 obj dot invoke method 1 in the same way i'm going to go and create another object of a and point that object towards i2 interface new a i2 obj dot method 1 now what i also do is i'll just go and uh, put a read line here so that we can see the outputs right right so what i've done now is i am creating the object of a and pointing it towards the interface 1 reference and then i'm creating the object again of a and pointing towards the interface 2 reference and i'm invoking this method 1 so again let's see if, if this code builds oh yes it builds and now let's see if this code runs oh yes it runs so this works it compiles it runs but this is not uh, you know what we were expecting right we have two interfaces so we would like to see two implementations now to define 
two different implementation for the same method names we need to use explicit interface method implementation in other words we need to qualify the method names in the class who is implementing the interfaces by using the interface names so let's try to see how we can do that so let's close this and uh, let's go back to our code here so what we need to do here is we need to qualify this method name by using the interface name so we are going to say here something like this i1 dot method name okay so we'll say this is called via i1 and the same way when we implement i2 we have to say i2 dot method 1 so over here i'll say this is called via i2 so delete this called via i2 now let's go and build the solution so build solution public is not valid in this term let's see what the error is public right you don't need to define this as public it is public interface all method uh, methods of interfaces are public by default succeeded nice so i'm going to do a control f5 here now what should happen is you know when i when i'm going to uh, what you call point this a towards i1 it will actually go and you know you know invoke this method one and when i'm going to go and point the i2 towards a object it will actually go and invoke this method one logic so if i do a control f5 now you can see that the i1 interface is calling his own implementation and the i2 interface is calling his own implementation so henceforth you know whenever you have a debate stating that you know can we have can we implement interfaces with same method names yes you can you know by using the explicit interface implementation so i hope that you enjoyed this video you know keep uh, watching the object oriented programming section uh, you know we are we are going to update more videos in this section and i hope that uh, you become technically stronger in terms of fundamentals as well as in terms of understanding uh, .net in a better manner thank you very much Now, whatever video you have seen, right, is just a glimpse of uh, what we have done. So, in case you are interested in our video package, uh, you can go to our site that is www.questpon.com. You can call on this number and you can ask the the complete DVD package what we have. So, in this DVD package, what we have done is basically we have covered almost everything what a .NET developer wants. So, right from basics of uh, ASP.NET object programming, SQL Server to new technologies like WCF, Silverlight, Link, Azure, Entity Framework. Uh, we also have UML uh, architecture, estimation, project management. There is a complete invoicing project end to end which is covered so that you can get a better feel of how to actually create projects in a systematic manner. Uh, we have covered server products, you know, both for SharePoint 2007 as well as for 2010. We have a lot of best practices video on SQL Server, etc. So this complete package, you know, you can get from www.questpon.com if you're interested. And you can call on this number and uh, you can ask for the rates. It's it's a very uh, decent rate what we have. On the same, in the same way, uh, you know, as compared to the videos, we also have one more uh, product with us that is our interview question books. So we have uh, different kinds of interview question books, you know, right from, from .NET interview questions to SQL Server interview questions, uh, SharePoint interview questions, BizTalk interview questions, etc. So in case you are interested in the books part, you can you can call on these numbers as per your location. So you can see these numbers on the board at this moment. So I hope that um, you keep enjoying the videos, uh, you keep seeing our uh, site and I hope that you gain more knowledge. Thank you very much.